What up, my dude? Good morning. I'm, I'm running late, so packing. Yeah, so going straight from New York home, so I'm trying to make sure I have everything. I should graduate college. I passed all my classes for last semester, and my mom wants me to take some graduation pictures, so. Okay, so in the next hour, I'm gonna finish packing and go take some graduation pictures for my mom for Christmas. Be good. <laughs> this is like an X triple XL. <laughs> what side does it go from this side to this side? I told myself like my end goal was to qualify for the CrossFit Games and once I got to college I was like I have until I graduate to make the CrossFit Games and if it doesn't happen by then then I need to move on to bigger and better things and get like a big boy job you know so just pretty much every decision from that point forward was like is this gonna help me make the CrossFit Games yes no and if it did I did it and if it didn't I didn't so that was the goal is just to make the CrossFit Games and within three years I've had two podium finishes and ended up winning the CrossFit Games like something I never dreamed of and I was able to still like get my degree during it. Feels good but going into like this next season I'm so excited for it just to kind of have school off my back. I mean every year I've been taking full load of classes. Uh, I got behind because I took a semester off and I had to take summer classes leading into the games and obviously just training on top of school. I mean there's tons of student athletes that do it but don't make excuses but I don't think anyone can argue and say that it doesn't take away from the sport just a little bit. So kind of going into this next year, it's gonna be, I'm just super excited to kind of see what a full year of training looks like with no distractions. Just every decision I'm gonna be making is just trying to win the CrossFit Games. So I'm excited to see like what, what comes of it. I'm not overpacked. I'm going straight from here back home so it looks like I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> I just bring my life with me everywhere I go, you know? I thought we were here for two days, bro. <laughs> yeah, hey, you don't have to get ready if you stay ready, you <laughs> feel me? I'm pretty sure that this is my first taxi ride, ever. I think it's a New York thing to do, you know? You get one mega bed. <laughs> <laughs> is this it? The newlywed suite right here, bro. The newlywed suite. <laughs> well, this is gonna be cozy. Hey! hey. <laughs> I think I've. What up? What up? <laughs> Where's the food? Oh, right here. You hold your snacks too. Oh heck yeah! I did good. I got like got like the Japanese theme. <laughs> the low the low bed. I still can't get over how tall the buildings are. What time is it? It's midnight. <laughs> tomorrow we're doing the eight sleep commercial. That should go smooth. We'll do that all day tomorrow. And then uh, on Monday, we're just gonna do kind of a day in New York, but I'm stretching and going to bed because tomorrow's gonna be a long day. Oh. <laughs> this is by far the best stretch that Go On has. We were making a commercial today, you know? <laughs> it's gonna be good. It's gonna be an experience, kind of like day one in New York, so it's gonna be a good one. They said they're gonna redefine my curls, so. <laughs> I'm really curious what that means. <laughs> I'm like, I think my curls were pretty good. But they're about to be better. And they said mascara, I don't know what that is. I don't know, if, is that the thing on your eyelashes? Or is that the thing that like, goes around? I'm feeling good, but like nervous, you know? It's like gonna be like 30 people staring at me, like three, two, one, go, and everyone's just be like, <laughs> but it's gonna be good. As they said, they're actually using it for like actual TV commercials. Like I thought it was gonna be like, but on the CrossFit gyms. I got a sweet little waistband for a mic. I'm ready. I'm official. And I got makeup done and my hair done. How's it look? <laughs> Are my curls redefined? I'm, ex I'm excited for him. Hopefully it gets on national TV. We're watching a football game and it'll be like cut to the eight sleep commercial. That'd be sweet. I'm excited for this stuff because I'm actually getting to work out. <laughs> These cute poses. <laughs> yeah, so that's probably the least. I like, I like this one. I know. This is natural, you know? <laughs> that's how I normally am. See how me and thousands more benefit by this sleep and fitness. I'm Justin Medeiros. Hey, Corona, take one. There it is. <laughs> We're gonna match. 
If we go on a bike ride, I feel like my hands are gonna freeze. Should do the trick, right? And we got some memorabilia. That'd New York. Well, I just thought the tips were for looks, you know? He didn't believe me that I was like, oh, we could still use our phone. See, you can move, scan, do everything. I was like, use your pinky. Nothing. What's the difference? Nothing. Look at, they're the same thing. <laughs> trying to do a muscle up. Why are you out of breath? Not out of breath. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh. Hashtag cross it or die. Um, I went to grind and I didn't see that thing. And I hit it and fell. <laughs> <laughs> Take number two. <laughs> well, our hotels are probably like those buildings and we were in it and it looked huge. Dude, all the buildings, like most of the tall ones around here are all new in the past five years. So like, when you take them up here, like you were significantly taller than everything. There you go. Pro. She's the pro. Dang. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you look over the edge. <laughs> That's crazy. It's like, uh, it's, you, it's, you look over? <laughs> it's straight down. <laughs> I was walking over and he's like, oh dude, don't stand in that square. I'm like, why? He's like, go fry your sperm. I'm like, fried sperm, not fried sperm. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> the New World Trade Center. There is definitely not a better spot in New York than this right here. Like there's not too many people that have seen New York from right here. <laughs> I gotta call my mom. <laughs> So we're here at the Ground Zero. I think it's something that I've always wanted to really see. I mean, I was alive during it, but never got like the true, like to be here and see it. Uh, Matt O'Keefe's friend uh, from college, Wells Crowther. If you haven't heard of him, he's a, uh, there's a really cool story about him. Like if you look up on YouTube, the man in the red bandana, there's a stories of people that said they're like being saved by this kid that had a red bandana uh, on. And he was one of the people that ended up like passing away and there's, just countless people that probably did so many things like that and like this is memorabilia for them. So um, it's just pretty crazy to be here and take it all in and see how they built the new tower and to see like ground zero for both sites. So yeah. I don't know why. I had a really big craving for Greek yogurt. So I got Greek yogurt and a side of eggs and toast. We're gonna do some rowing intervals. Some back squats and front squats. Need to get this in today. And then, uh, test those to be a travel day, but it's a bonus, you know? You'll be getting some fitness in. But rowing, back squat, front squat, and time permits, do some like shoulder accessory stuff. Check this bad boy out. This thing, I feel like, it's like actual weightlifters. You gotta actually like lift big if you're gonna use it, you know? Just going above and beyond the program today. The weight says 293. Do a 295. You haven't watched The Office, but it's a reception day, like receptionist day, and she's, she, Michael takes her to lunch, and she finds out that uh, Andy was married to Angela, and she like puts her hair over her head. She's like, this was my room for three years. Yeah, see, this is my happy place, you know? <laughs> no one can see me in here, it's my space. 